This week on the Street of Dreams, the Dow marked its best week of the year after bringing its winning streak to eight days on Friday. Both the Dow and the S&P were higher, while the NASDAQ composite was down slightly. Market rose in spite of the University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Survey coming in weaker than expected on Friday as one-year inflation expectations rose. For now, the momentum continues to be positive and earnings are still rising. S&P 500 earnings season is nearing completion, with over 427 companies having reported, I think it's safe enough to conclude, earnings grew for the third straight quarter. Great news, and you might conclude that this current big booming bull market is in reaction to that string of three positive quarterly earnings reports. But that's not how markets work. Markets always move first and early in anticipation of coming events. The results themselves just confirm what stocks already knew intuitively. Markets are forward-looking, while earnings results look back in time, only confirming on why stocks did what they already did. Reported earnings are confirmers, not predictors. What really matters today is what are earnings going to be in the coming quarters? Well, according to the analysts, the future is looking bright. Consensus analyst expectations for the S&P 500 earnings per share edged up for both 2024 and 2025 during the week. As a result, S&P 500 forward earnings per share rose to yet another record high. This suggests that the earnings reporting season has gone well, with more corporate managements providing upbeat rather than downbeat forward guidance. And that's why it's so important to stay invested. Everyone knows and follows the P-E ratio. That's the price of the market, the P, divided by its earnings, the E. As I always say when it comes to investing, there is no P without E. And if earnings meet the record high of analyst expectations in a forward-looking market, the P will be there long before the E.